In this video I will briefly explain how to connect a three-phase motor to a single-phase power line. First of all, you should know the following. A capacitor will be considered to operate the three-phase motor with a single-phase power supply, so this method should be used in low-power motors, generally less than 5 HP and that start up in a vacuum. In this connection method, the motor power will be reduced by 20% to 25%, and the motor torque will be reduced by 30% to 50%. If your electric motor has only three cables, the connection to the capacitor is simple. One cable is connected to line 1 or phase, the other cable is connected to line 2 or neutral and the third cable is connected to a terminal or pin of the capacitor and the other end must be connected to the phase or neutral. The order of the cables will only affect the direction of rotation of the motor. If you want the motor to turn in the opposite direction, just change the capacitor connection between phase and neutral. But if your electric motor has six wires, then it is necessary to make a delta connection and then connect the capacitor. Here are the connection diagrams. Don't worry, I'll explain how to do it. But first we must calculate the capacity or the value that the permanent or running capacitor must have. The formula to use is the following. The capacitor capacity is equal to 1, divided by 2 pi, multiplied by the frequency and by the reactance. The reactance is equal to the voltage squared multiplied by the power factor, all of this divided by the motor power. All of this data will be taken from the motor's nameplate. As an example I will take a 2 HP motor or the same as 1.5 kW which in delta connection needs 220 volts at a frequency of 60 Hz, the cosine of phi or the power factor is 0.82. If we replace this data in the reactance formula we obtain a value of 26.46, which we will use in the capacitor capacity formula. Remember that the value of pi is approximately 3.14 and the frequency according to the motor plate is 60 Hz, thus obtaining a result of 100 microfarads as the value of the capacitor. This is an approximate value, so it should be close to the most commercial capacity value that we can find on the market. I am going to consider a 100 microfarad capacitor for a 1500 watt motor, which is equivalent to 2 HP. If you do not have motor data, then a practical rule is to use approximately 70 microfarads for each kilowatts of the motor or 50 microfarads for each HP. Once all the calculations have been made and you already know the value of the capacitor, then I will proceed to explain how to make the connection if the motor has six cables. If your motor has six cables, that means that internally it has three coils, of which each coil has two ends, that is, two cables. The designation of each cable can be with letters or numbers. Here I show you the different designations that can be given to the terminals depending on the country where it was manufactured. I am going to use the IEC standard in the examples, if in your case it has different letters or numbers, then you only have to take reference to the other equivalences shown here. To start and operate a three-phase motor with a single-phase supply, the coils must be connected in a triangle or also called delta. At each vertex of the triangle is to connect to a line or phase, but as there is only phase and neutral or two lines, then the capacitor or capacitor is connected at one vertex, and depending on which terminals it is connected to, it can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. At the bottom, we can see how the connection would be made if we have a terminal box on the motor. Here is the explanation. First we will make the connection for a clockwise rotation. In the motor terminal box, a base is shown where the terminals of the coils that correspond to the six cables are connected in the following order. At the bottom we have the terminals U1, V1, W1, and at the top we have W2, U2, V2, in that order since it makes it easier for us in the triangle connection. Use metal strips to join the terminals U1 and W2, also join V1 and U2, and finally W1 and V2. Now, from the union of U1W2 and V1U2, you must connect to the single-phase power cables phase and neutral. From the remaining union or vertex you must connect to the capacitor. From line 1 you connect to one terminal of the capacitor. And from the union W1V2, you must connect to the other terminal. Usually the permanent or run capacitor has four legs, you must connect it diagonally, as shown and you will have no problems, it does not matter which way since it has no polarity. It is also possible to connect it to a protective ground cable, which I have considered green and is connected to the motor chassis and the other end must go to a ground. 
By the way, the capacitor or condenser has to be a permanent run capacitor, 450 volts in alternating current and a frequency of 50 or 60 Hz. For this case, only a switch or key has been considered to turn on the motor, it does not have any additional protection. If you wish, you can consider some contactor and thermal relay, but that is another topic. Be careful here, the motor has to be in an empty state for it to start, since, if it has a heavy load, it will not start. If we raise the lever of the key, it must start to turn in some direction. If you want it to turn in the other direction, then the only thing you have to do is change the capacitor connection. If a terminal was connected to line 1 or phase, then you must disconnect it from that point and connect it to the neutral wire terminal. That way the motor will rotate in the other direction. If you still have problems and your motor does not start and only makes a noise, then you will need a starting capacitor. The approximate value is equal to twice the value of the permanent capacitor, and this should be connected in parallel to the capacitor shown here. But this starting capacitor should only be connected for 1 or 2 seconds and then it should be disconnected since it only serves for starting. If you want to know how to make this connection, although I already explained how to do it, then here at the end I will leave the video where the starting capacitor and the run capacitor are used.